Hi there. It's April the 20th and in our journey through the book of Joshua we're coming towards the end and we're looking today at Joshua 21 and part of Joshua 22. In Joshua 21 the tribes having settled the land the Levites now come that's the priestly uh, tribe the ones who are not given lands and they say well although we're not given lands with all the other tribes we were promised cities where we could settle and where we could work the lands and so they are given uh, cities out of all of the tribes the second half of the chapter actually goes through tribe by tribe and says which cities are given but basically, as the lot is taken, uh, it falls that the, the, the tribe of Levi falls into three divisions: the Kohathites, the Gershonites, and the Merarites. They have they're, they're the th three divisions that have different functions and roles within the tribe of Levi. So, first of all, the Kohathites, who are the descendants of Aaron, that section of the Kohathites, receive thirteen cities or thirteen settlements in the southern part of Israel, and they're receiving their cities from Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin down in the south. Uh, then the rest of the Kohathites are receiving ten cities, and they get their cities from uh, Ephraim, Dan, and Manasseh. So they're more in the middle of the country. Then the Gershonites are receiving 13 cities, and their 13 cities are situated in Issachar, Naphtali, Asher, and Manasseh, so they're more to the north of the country. And then lastly, the Merorites receive 12 cities from Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So quite a few of them are east of the Jordan, with some in the middle of Israel. Now, given as well within those cities are cities of refuge. We've already referred to those earlier on, the cities of refuge that are for the safety, for the refuge of manslaughter uh, perpetrators, people who are uh, escaping from the avenging of blood. Altogether, the Levites are given 48 towns, and with their being settled in these towns, then the whole thing is actually... Uh, sorted now and everyone has their allocation. One thing that's interesting in verse 11 of chapter 21 is Caleb having received Hebron and having uh, wanted to fight for Hebron because the giants are there, Hebron is actually ceded to the Levites so Caleb no longer has it but it says that Caleb keeps the lands around it, they still belong to him but he surrenders this right to Hebron so that the Levites can have it there as a city of refuge. It says at the end of Joshua 21 something beautiful. Uh, it says uh, in the Hebrew, it says, Lo nafal davar mikol davar atov asher diber Adonai el bet Israel kol haba, kol hakol ba. Everything came about. Nothing fell, nothing failed of all the good things that God had spoken to the house of Israel. Everything came about. This is a tremendous statement of God's ability to do what he's promised. Then at the beginning of Joshua 22, or the first part of Joshua 22, um, Joshua now says to the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and half of the tribe of Manasseh, you promised to come across the Jordan, even though your families have settled east of Jordan, and you've accomplished this, you've done what you, what you said you would do, therefore you can now return and you can go back to your families. Which is great, except that on the way, they decide to build a memorial altar at the place where they cross the Jordan. And this seems to be uh, a, a, a rebellion against the, the, the tabernacle at Shiloh, against the, uh, the settlement at Shiloh of the place to where God is worshipped. And so the, the Jews are ready to, the, the, the rest of the tribes are ready to uh, rise up against Reuben, Gad and Manasseh. And they send as an emissary, uh, the son of the high priest Eleazar, they send Pinchas to find out what on earth uh, Reuben, Gad and Manasseh are doing uh, and are what they're playing at, building an altar to the Lord in a place that God has not authorised. And we find out in our next part as we come towards the end of Joshua tomorrow what the outcome of that encounter is. Have a very good April the 20th.